One really neat application of determinants is that they can be used to find the area of a parallelogram. Now suppose I create a parallelogram using these four points, A, B, C, and D. I've got the parallelogram graphed here, and it turns out that if you pick any vertex of the parallelogram, I'm going to pick A, and look at the vectors A, B, and A, D, that you can use those vectors to form a determinant whose value is going to be the area. Now, AB, vector AB, goes from point A to point B, and so its components are going to be 9 minus 1, which is 8, negative 4 minus negative 2, negative 4 plus 2, negative 2. And AD goes from point A to point D, and so its components are going to be, going to be 0 minus 1, negative 1, and 3 minus negative 2, 5. So the way we, we do this is we form a determinant using these, these vectors as the rows of, of the matrix. So the determinant is 8, negative 2, and negative 1, 5. Now, I have to do one other thing. Remember when you, when you switch rows of a determinant, you change the sign of the determinant. So it's possible to get a negative answer from this determinant. So you should always take the absolute value. Now I'm going to write it that way because if I wrote the absolute value with vertical lines, it would be a little confusing with our notation for the determinant. But um, again, you know, you can enter these, these vectors in either order as long as you take the absolute value afterwards. Okay, so let's calculate this area. So it's absolute value of 8 times 5, 40, minus negative 2 times negative 1, 2. So that's the absolute value of 38 which is 38. And so the area of this parallelogram is 38. So just remember that the procedure is you pick a vertex on the parallelogram. And then you have that vertex will share two vectors, in this case a, b, and a, d. If you use those, the components of those vectors to form a determinant, calculate that determinant, and then take its absolute value. If we had reversed the order of these vectors, we would have gotten negative 38. We would have needed that absolute value to get us an area, which has to be positive. So make sure you remember the absolute value. But it's the absolute value of the determinant of those vectors.